That's true. Pencils down. Pencils down. Do we need to check? No. You grown said men. We're men. We we're men. Grown men. Get at grown men. Grown ass men. We don't need a sound check. Grown ass men. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need a sound check. Cody's joining us shortly. Sure. Well, right now we thought, you know what? Fuck it. We're again. We're men. We we made up a rule. Yes. That we don't start until everybody's ready. But then, since we're men, we just break our. We we'll break rules. any fucking. Are we afraid? Or what are we scared of? Right. Give us any rule. We'll break it. <laughs> give, we give it. Give us any chance. We'll, we'll take, take it. it. Show us any Same rule. We'll, we'll break, break it. it. We're gonna we'll make, make our dreams come. come That's true. not even our song. We're singing. <laughs> Doing it our Always. way. Right. right. That is gone. That's us. Turn we're us we're back the Laverne now. and Shirley of podcasting. <laughs> Straight ahead. Right? I think what? We are. I think so. We uh, do it our way. way. Yes, our, our way. Make our, our dreams, dreams come true. And we'll do, do it our way. way. Are we just gonna sing this till Cody gets here? <laughs> our way. Ten minutes of Laverne and Shirley. Just every <laughs> hat one, two, three, four, happy. Monday, Tuesday, happy, happy days. days. All the spin offs from happy days. We'll just Mork and Mindy. Mork and Mindy. But that was just bum bum bum. Ba -da -ba -da. That didn't have lyrics, did it? That was just dun dun dun. dun, dun. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. How big of a crush did you have on Mindy back in the day? Oh, big time! Man, big time. could Mindy have had it? She could have had when all of it. All of and it. I would have gone and found more to give it to. Yes, her. Yeah. <laughs> I, would. I would have come to you and go, "Hey, Mindy needs more. Can you give me a little? Can I borrow? Can some? I borrow a little bit of yours? Because she needs even more. She needs more. She's than... taking all I can give. <laughs> That's how much Mindy could have. Damn, and f with good reason. Yeah. Fucking, fucking fine as fuck, Pam so Dauber. Fine. Jesus oh, Christ. So fine. so fine. So fine. Does that get a Vern? That gets a... Mm, 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 mm. That gets... Right? Mm, mm. You know, it feels naked without Cody. It does a little bit. Because we had him like... This is like... This has been like four... Like rambles, eight or nine five in, rambles a row. in a row. He's, is he in? We still have to beat him up, though, right? Isn't that part yeah, of the he's initiation? Gotta he's got to get initiated. Like, we have to beat the fuck out of him. And we, how do we initiate? We kill his... Closest closest friend, friend, whatever girl he has a crush on. Right. No, no, no I'm sorry. No, we no. kill his closest friend, and then we fuck whatever girl he has a crush on. Then we beat the shit out of him. Right. And then he has to kill whatever girl he that's has a crush right. on. That's, that how that's, how <laughs> that's, that's, that's how you get into the ramble. That's how you get it. That's how you. Yeah. <laughs> we do that it's, thing it's where quite we quite the process. We make him raise a puppy and then kill it. Yeah, that's too, how you right? go from like. <laughs> Hired musician to full band member. To part? Are you right? Are yeah. you a studio? Are you a traveling yeah. guy? Are you official? If we get into the Hall of Fame, are you part of the group? Are you just getting money per show? Right. Or do you want some of the album money? Are you in? You gotta are do you some in? Shit. Right. You got to do that's some a shit. lot of shit. You got to earn it. You, you gotta kill somebody. Got to fucking earn it. <laughs> You got to. OK, so before she gets here, because I want to break her balls about this anyway, but yeah. Andre is probably going to walk in this door at any minute. Yeah, now. I'm sorry. I know. That's OK. But what we're going, we're probably going on vacation with her family. So you guys didn't call off the Hawaii trip. Not yet. Coronavirus hasn't ruined your family. Not, vacay. She doesn't want it to. And her thing is, oh, come on. Every, it, we're going to be fine. Everybody's just making a big. And I'm like, OK, Doc. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I for, I'm sure. Yeah, I forgot that every day at work you're with a How microscope. How old are her parents? 70s? 70. Okay, that's that's prime. I know. Age. I know. That's the age to get that knock that that takes people out at. I know. So is she trying to get some inheritance? Is this her plan? Is this the long? Game? Oh my God! You called is it. Is this the long game? Oh shit! Because this just makes it look like, oh no, mom and dad died. I'm so sad. How much do I get? When she gets in, you got to bring this up because that's, that's what, what this is. is, right? Yeah, but I, oh, everybody's. Oh yeah, all right. Because she like she's studying it every day at work. You know, like she just got the right. Corona sample that she has under my. Oh, it looks like yeah, hit the fuck out of you. What do you know? You know what I mean? She saw this as her opportunity to take to out her take, parents. Take out her parents. Cash. Holy shit, Eddie! And she's forcing the issue. Do I fight this or do I just let it? How, well, they're kind of well off, right? They're kind of got. I don't know. Little, I don't know. I little guess little we're gonna find out. They're from, they're from the OC, right? I guess. Well, not from, but that's where they that's are. That's where they live. You got a little cash. You live in the you OC. Think, you think they got something coming? You think should we let There's it happen? There's a cabin up in Big Bear, right? Should we let it happen? They have multiple homes. Should we let it happen? I think you should let it happen. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Because I, I, I stand to get a little bit of the runoff. Oh fuck yeah! So I mean, whatever my cut is. <laughs> She's I'm out for a lot. Look, whatever my cut is, she's out, and we're getting the puss crushing shack up in right, Montrose right. or whatever. We're, yeah, 
I mean, that's she the can goal. have the house down in OC. She, what if she we can have all of it? We spend our weekends up in Big Bear crushing puss because there's no, a Walgreens no, up there. No, we should do the there. Montrose. We should do the Montrose. Remember by the oh, Little Caesars oh, and the GameStop. That's true. That's we'll true. save money. Oh, that's right. Right. That's a good and idea. with what we'll have enough. Yeah, that's true. It'll be fine. That's true. But she's trying to get her parents killed. That's right. I can't believe right. this. No. It makes sense now. The nuts on her. It makes sense. Does it? She's looking out for your future, Jerry. Yeah. She's thinking about you guys long term. She is. They've had their time. We're bringing all the... Do you mind if we bring this up again when she walks no, through those, that door? We have we to. Definitely interrogate her. All right, we have to. So, by the way, mm -hmm. we have a winner. We or have uh, a winner. hit that two nanny. For hit that two nanny. Someone the, won the pillow. Someone won the pillow. Someone won the ramble pillow. Wow. First, and, and uh, the only one. The only one. The only only one person got it. Only one person got it. I by knew the it way, was difficult. By the way, Charles Phillips, uh, I believe he sent me sending a thing he wants you to praise the Bills with. Have you gotten this yet? Uh, I don't know. I, 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 gotta I, find I will it. do what I I lost the bet. I will. I you will got do it. it. So we'll do it next ramble. We'll save it. Is that cool? So we can. I have time to find uh, what Charles Phillips had requested. Yes, that's because I've did, I'm doing. A I bad could even job. do it on our Friday ramble radio. If that oh, makes happy. all right. I think we might have to. So he could see my disgusted face as I. You don't hate the Bills, though, right? No, I crushed him in the Super Bowl. That's right. I don't care if we lose regular season I beat games. Him we beat him, too. That you twice. Beat him, you beat him twice, man. Twice. We beat him once. We got Super Bowl rings from him. Who cares? Yeah, man. That's, I'll do I it. love the Buffalo Bills <laughs> for that. Don't I, you see the, I see the old Bills uniforms. I get happy. Oh, here it is. Uh, he wants you to sing the fight song. Okay. Uh, do, you want, do you want to do this now? I could do it now. Okay. Do you, um, you want to email it to me? Or do you want uh, to read yes, it I'll forward it to you. Just yeah, how about that? Yeah, do yeah that. okay. I'm going to forward and this I'll, to I'll you. I'll get that out of the way. Yes. And then I'll go me. home and watch a replay of Super Bowl 26. Oof. Ouch. That was a shot. Those were shots. <laughs> Those were shots, and they were fired. <laughs> That's what that was. Charles Phillips, Charles Phil here's a uh, problem. You know what? I heard Thurman Thomas is still looking for his helmet. Wow. What? What did I just do? Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> Please hammer. Don't hurt him. Yep. And you hurt him. I hurt him bad. You hurt him. <laughs> man. Oh, All right. Well, man. he's going to make you sing this, though. So. Hey, I'm a man. I, I, I'll lose my bet. I'll pay for it. Okay. It has been. I'll pay what I'm owed. Let me know. It says sent successfully. Right. Let's see if you get this. Let's see if I get it. And then you're going to have to read this. Eddie's dun, football dun, bet dun, punishment. Dun, 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 dun. There but, it is. Okay. All right. You bets. ready for this? Punishment. Here it is. Charles oh, Phillips for song. Charles. I know, but you have to read all this. Okay. Here, I'll read it out loud. Uh, yeah. Dear Edwin, dear Mr. Edwin Pence Elf. No middle name? No, he didn't give me the middle. My middle name's Brian. Well, there it is. You see it? What? It's at the, at the next part. He asks you, I. Oh, insert middle name. Yeah, I. Okay, I'm reading from the top. You recall, Edwin, at the beginning of the football season, you entered into a bet with the Redskins who would do better than the Bills because mm. I had you know, I had preseason. Aspiration. Aspiration. Like I, had beer, all I had beer goggles on. We had preseason hope. We all have preseason We hope. all do. The punishment was you have to embarrass yourself talking about as much how much the Bills are better than the Redskins. Wow. Along with singing their fight rally song added that not only did you have to talk about it on the Ralph Report as on the Ramble and Swings and Misses. So since football season is almost over, I figured mm. it was time to fulfill your end of the bet. It also fig if I if also figured I'd give you a script to follow if you want. Uh -huh. Also, if you follow the script and sing the uh -huh. fight song on all your podcasts, I will still gladly donate to a charity of your choose. That's very nice. That's kind very of nice. That's, that's that's nice. And here you were mocking the guy. Five I was mocking ago. him. But five seconds. That's ago. just football talk. It is. That's football it fandom is. talk. It is. That's all it is. You're a man. <laughs> I, Edwin Brian Pence, after this EBP EBP after this terrible. <laughs> Season of Redskins football, which I don't find is terrible because it got Jay Gruden fired. And you're getting a. Well, and I got Ron pick. Rivera as my head and coach. You're getting the number two pick. And I'm getting the number two pick. So to live through in the time was tough. But now looking now back. Now it ain't bad. I enjoyed that season. Ain't that bad. So All Redskins right. football wish I could come up with the courage to be a better man and become <laughs> a Buffalo Bills fan. Okay, Bills fan. As they are the better football team and one of the best teams in the NFL. Wow. 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 Okay. My Redskins are not only 
Not only are a true embarrassment to the state of Washington. Okay, there's no state of Washington. There's no state. The District, of Columbia. District of Columbia. We're not the Seahawks. I mean, they. I don't know how that. They would have to really fuck up to be the embarrassment of the state <laughs> of Washington. I mean, they're pretty. They were pretty bad. I guess I could see where people in every state would be a little embarrassed for them. Yeah. And all of professional football. They only wish they could be one eighth the football team <laughs> that the Buffalo Bills are. Okay. This is the Buffalo Bills team that should have beat the Texans in the playoffs, but did. This Buffalo Bills team should have done a lot of things. They, but should, they, should have beaten, they really should have beaten the Texans. Even the reserve kicker, Karee Vedvik, <laughs> is better than every person in the resident organization. At the time, I would agree, yes, but now things have changed. I can only wish and hope that one day that Sean McDermott or anyone on his coach staff could come and whip the Redskins into actual football wow. team. Well, we don't need that because Sean McDermott was the offensive coordinator of Ron Rivera, who is now the head coach of the Washington Redskins. Yeah. And the Redskins just cut Josh Norman, and then yeah. the Bills signed the sloppy seconds known as Josh Norman. They did. <laughs> who I don't think is going to make it out training camp. No. Anyway, <laughs> also here, am I, I'm not leaving up the bargain, am I? I'm not, I'm not really. You're, you're, you're kind of half ass in this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Also, here are the lyrics of the fight song you need to sing. All right, you ready? Should All right, ready. Backing tune for this, or you want to just no? You can, you can, you can back it up with the mandolin. The bills make me want to shout. Kick your heels up and shout. Throw your hands up and shout. Throw your head back and shout. Come on now, the bills are making it happen now. Stand up now, come on and shout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say you will shout it right now, baby. Say you will. Come on, come on. Say you will. Come on and shout. Say you will. Wow, there's not, it's not a lyricist really wrote this song. Say you will. Yeah. Shout. Buffalo's happening now. Shout. We're on the move now. Shout. The bills are happening now. Shout. They're making it happen now. Shout. We've got the spirit. Shout. A lot of spirit. Yeah. Shout. We got the spirit. Shout. Just watch it happen now. Hey. 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 Hey, 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 let's go Buffalo, let's go Buffalo, let's go Buffalo, let's go Buffalo, the Bills make me want to shout. Wow. 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 Is that really their fight song? I guess. Because they just took the Isley just, Brothers shout and yeah, then just. And just threw a bunch of Bills words the, into The Bills it. make me want to shout. That's, wow. I know. Hey, whatever. I'm, I'm glad you guys had a better football season than the Reds. <laughs> and you guys, I feel bad for you guys. You guys, Oof. You guys needed that. Oof. So Ray Tolius is our winner. Ray Tolius. Ray Tolius. Congratulations, Congrats Ray. So you Charles get a Phillips. Congratulations, Charles Phillips. You get. Uh, you got. You just had Eddie humiliate himself by singing <laughs> the Redskins fight song. Ray Tolius. The Bills fight song. Redskins. The fight Bills song. fight song. The so, Bills Redskins fight song is the actual original fight song that people written, wrote, written by. Uh, they didn't just plagiarize. Shout. An original song. They just didn't take another song and change the lyrics. So Eddie, you said there was no way anyone was going to get this song that I. Played. I didn't think so. I was so confident. That one. Whatever. I'm fucking it up now because my head's on the other one. I was so confident no one was going to get that song. Ray Tolius got it right when you, right after we filmed the one where you said no one was going to get it. Ray Tolius chimes in. Pencils down. I'm almost certain that tune is the win scene from Chrono Trigger wow. by Yasunori Mitsuda. And, and he you, is absolutely you right. You win a pillow. He gets a pillow. Honey, you're home. Hey! hey! So I have to tell that I promised all the listeners I would break your balls about this live, not just when you weren't here. But we were talking about how you really want to go to Hawaii. Yes. And you were saying... You Corona, were, coronavirus doesn't scare you. And, and her attitude was like, everybody needs to calm down. Right. And I'm thinking, oh, that's right, because every day at work she has a microscope and, and she's, she's just studying the virus. COVID-19. And she knows everything about yes. COVID-19. Anyway, Eddie brought up the theorem... That your parents are prime COVID prime nineteen COVID nineteen age. Oh, you're coughing, coughing. You're so, coughing. So Eddie believes that this is all a ploy for you to have your parents killed, and you can take. So you can get some money. Yeah, that's what this is all it, about. There's no suspicion here at all. Right. There's no investigation. Oh, they died. They got COVID nineteen. That's it. They're eighty. They're dead. We. I have all this money. <laughs> Her parents are in very good health. Look, that's what they all say. Wow. And then she's really setting up the alibi. Boy, she is. Good God, is she wow. ever? Hey, honey, what do you think of these two? Come hither real quick. Come here, God damn it! Get the fuck over Jesus. here, Jesus! Uh, <laughs> and where's dinner? And where's dinner? Um, <laughs> should I've gotten these instead? Like these? If we're doing that, if we're gonna be doing all that shit, or is it okay? Just I got the regular goggles. You might 
Oh shit! All right, we got to talk. Uh huh. I don't know. Are you guys snorkeling? I don't know. We I don't know. Oh, we, that's die. the plan. That's See, you're gonna go she, in the water. Yeah, if, if a shark's not gonna fucking eat us, then we're gonna get Corona going over there. She's trying to get rid of there. you now. She's trying to get rid she's of me too. She's trying to get rid of her parents on Corona. And she's trying to get you eaten by a shark. Yeah, and then she's gonna fuck Scott Schmerelson on the LA school board. Scott Schmerelson and Andre they're, are gonna be living, living like kings in Orange County. You see County. that dance? Do you see that wow. dance? What I'm up against? Wow. What I'm fucking up against? Unreal, um, dude. God, brutal. Hi, honey. I love it. Your your sandwich is in the fridge, wow. and your chips are right there. And guess who is? Well, thank you. Guess sorry, a little sweaty. Guess who's joined us? Cody. Are you there, Cody? I am here, live and direct from a Cody. massive win. The San Antonio yes. Spurs defeating my beloved Cody. Dallas Mavericks. And, and Cody. In full disclosure, Jerry fought ferociously not to have you on the ramble. Yes, I did not want you on here for that reason. I had reason. to beg and plead he had to have a full plead. functional ramble tonight. Yes. We are we are fighting hard for that 10th seed right now. <laughs> There's no chance and you can catch the 8th, is there? Mathematically or could you? Mathematically, yes, but it would take a massive collapse from the Grizzlies to, uh, for that to happen. So, so this is two years in a row. Pop is... He went to the playoffs last year. Did he go to the playoffs? Yeah. Oh, he did go to the playoffs. Yeah, last year. it's been. I think it's been twenty-two years 22. right now, and I think it's about to come to an end this wow. year. That's oh sad. well. The la- and the last time, don't even bitch because the last time it happened, you got Tim fucking Duncan as your consolation prize for now. Who, thank who God, had the quietest dynasty of all time. Thank God Zion isn't a, in Duke right now because yeah. if he was, that's who you're getting in the draft. <laughs> that would be the Spurs' luck right there. You would just get Zion instantly. That sucks too. I like Popovich. He's my favorite. Uh, Pop's NBA the coach. best coach on the planet. Yeah. I don't know if there's a better NBA coach other than Phil Jackson. Maybe Pat Riley, like of. The past thirty years, I don't know. Maybe yeah. it, it would have to be Jackson or, or nobody. I you think. Go, yeah, it's. Yeah. J- I think it's Jackson Pop is your argument, and then Pat Riley's. In, he's right there below. He, that. He's right below them. I don't know who else. With Larry Brown. Maybe Larry, Larry Brown. Larry, but maybe. he did so bad with the Knicks. Oh God! But, but Larry Brown's Knicks. got nothing to show for it, though. He's Ooh. got what one title? One, one with title with the Pistons. Yeah, one he got Pistons the one title. Pistons ring. He should have had one with Indiana. Yeah, yeah. And then he just. Eight shit with the Knicks. Eight shit with the Knicks. Uh, Ray Tolius is our winner, so he is getting a pillow. He gets a pillow. So, Ray, uh, please email us with the same two nanny toon tang heading your address. Give us the and address. We will send and you. And then once you get the pillow, shoot us a selfie of you fucking of said you pillow. fucking the said said pillow. Speaking of, I, th- I saw that there was some social media calling for me to be on a pillow. Yeah, uh, that Cody, I just want to say that I'm not. I'm not signing over my likeness. Right, so. <laughs> we're we're gonna get sued like a motherfucker. <laughs> get Cody on a pillow. Right, so I will sh- see your ass in court. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do hit that too, nanny. Yeah. Okay. Do I'll All do right. It. Yeah. So do we want to do the intro? There's no intro yet. Yeah, I know. So okay. we hit that two days before the intro. Okay. Oh, I thought you meant do we have a song? Oh, for the it? actual ramble. No, nah, we'll do hit. Okay. Oh, okay. You know what? How yeah. far are we into this? 18 oh minutes. My God, we gotta start the show. We're hitting the t- we're hitting the music, and then we're hitting that too, nanny. <laughs> Jesus, start look the at show, us, man. Man, eight t- the greatest intro ever. Maybe up there. It's beyond up there. Now I'm gonna sing this song, Cody. I want you to hear the lyrics. Eddie's gonna make fun of this too. This is uh, the monkeys, and here we go. I wanna be free like the bluebirds flying by me, like the waves out on the blue sea. If your love has to tie me, don't try me, say goodbye. I wanna be free. Don't say you love me, say you like me. But when I need you beside me, stay close enough to guide me. Confide in me. Whoa, whoa. Pretty mean so far, wouldn't you say? Sociopathic. And then, and then I want to hold your hand, walk along the sand, laughing in the sun, always having fun, doing all those things without any strings to tie me down. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Fucking sociopath. That is the, that's like, that is like not just, hey, I think we should, that's like, 
I am going to break you into being my fuck buddy, yeah. right? That's what that yeah. is, and right? And not even buddy, because he sounds like he doesn't even really want to hang out after he's done fucking. He just needs her for when he needs her, and if he needs her, she better be there. Yeah. And if she wants anything more than that, she needs, fuck. To, fuck, she needs to fuck right off. <laughs> that is, that's a that might be one of the rougher ballads, of just like God damn, the balls on this guy. <laughs> Cody, thoughts? Too mean of a song or not mean enough? What do you think? Uh, I feel like I'm somewhere in the middle. I feel like it's it depends on your mood, right? Well, when you're Jerry was talking it, about how he wants this as his first dance song. Uh, well, I want <laughs> this. I want this to be my wedding vows. Yes. <laughs> when I, I want to be free. Yeah. Stay, <laughs> if your love has to tie me, don't try me. Well, you know you're not. Say make, goodbye. You, you already know you're not making out of Hawaii, right? Well, I know this. Okay. I'm going to die anyway. Right. She's setting all She's this setting shit all up. up, so she'll be a billionaire and then banging Schmerelson. Jesus Christ. You play it as the prenup's being signed. As the prenup is being signed. That is the ultimate prenup song. Wouldn't you agree? I think that'd be a good call. All right, so we're going to hit that tune, Annie. Hit that tune, Annie. Okay, now, this one's way easier. Okay. So the prize won't be the expensive no. pillow. It's But but with this, I think we're going to get, like, I bet, like, out of everyone who emails right. us, I bet 90% okay. are going to get this one. All right, all right. But. How are we going to choose? We're going to do the names Are we going to put them all in a hat? All the winners go in a hat. And out a winner. Yes. Okay. All right? And they'll get something cool. They will. Something. They'll get something. They're going to get something cool. Here we go. All right, you ready? They may have to buy it themselves. Right. <laughs> yeah. We'll just tell you what you should get. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, let me start over. All right. There it is. I'm okay. going to do a better one. Here we go. Good. There it is. Very good. Na- hit, hit that, that tune, Annie. Tune, Annie. <laughs> I want the game and the song. <laughs> and and then we'll if it, the winner will be the winners will be thrown into a hat, and we'll pick one out. That will be the winner, and then we'll tell you what you should buy. Yes. And- <laughs> That's for us. <laughs> for us. <laughs> so what's going to happen is the winners, we're going to pick a name out of that. And Cody is going to pick one item that he really wants. Yes. Eddie's going to pick an item he really wants. Within reason. Within we're reason. Crazy. I don't know. I, there's, there's like a really awesome Gibson uh, F-style mandolin at Carter Guitars in Nashville yeah. that's 90 grand. So, that's I mean, not, <laughs> that's not that's too not, crazy to that's ask. That's not absurd. That's not absurd. not absurd. It's an authentic 1920s mandolin yeah. from Gibson. So, that there you go. No, that's fine. That'll probably be mine. <laughs> Cody can pick something, and he'll pick something. So, uh, pick <laughs> nice. it, and then you could win? Yeah. You'll, oh, will you ever win? Uh, and that is Hit That Tune, Annie. So, you just make that your subject line. If you could tell us. The name of the game and the song right. in the game. You could win something. I'm telling you, everyone's going to get that one. Well, then the prize won't be the pillow. Right. Everyone's getting the that The pillow one. was the grand prize of everyone's what we thought was a difficult one. And it turned out to be a difficult one because only one it person did. got it. Boy, was it ever. Did you have other submissions? That was it. Ray Tolius was it. So you were right. It was a tough one. But we could never count out our listeners. No. One of them was going to know it. Yeah. And they did. All right, fine. Just leave. That's wow. look at her. Just big wow. time in us right there. Just walking away. Wow. Wow. Like an doesn't angry even teenager care. Teenager just going doesn't, to her room. Doesn't even care. I mean, we've been, we've been glowing about her the whole time. <laughs> and then she Let's just leaves. Just leave. Why would you? Just walks leave away. Such Jeez. a warm room. <laughs> Let's get. Uh oh, Jack's calling you, hon. Oh, yeah. Look at all this. Look at the. Fu- it's like Christmas. That's all the shit she got oh, those for. Are- her, that's, that's all the weapons she's That's all the use. shit she's trying to kill you with. Yes. And, uh, Jesus, Boxes this is brutal. Shit. Um, all right, so we're going to... Well, let's get to singing. We got a time crunch. So, Cody, Eddie and I are moments away... Moments. Mere ...from moments. going to see this Ben Affleck basketball movie. The Way Back. Ah. The way, now, Cody, if you could please tell us, without spoiling anything, if you could give us a... What, it, what would be your... How do you sell this to someone who looks at the trailer and goes, this looks so dumb? Which is I what would, I thought. Yes, when I saw the trailer, I, I would say it is it is R rated. So there's a bit of an edge to it that I feel like if if this was a PG thirteen movie, it would probably be 
something that was cheesy, yep. but I feel like it is, it's, it's a rated R movie that I think has a good payoff to it in terms of like seeing his character and, and how it interacts. And I would say that also it's not, it's not a 100% sports movie. I think that sports is kind of the background of a true like character study. So wow. I think, I think that if you're looking for something that's like a flat out sports movie, you're not going to, you're not going to get that. It's a little bit deeper. It's got more depth and uh, and also third and uh, this I'll leave it at this I can't think of a better Ben Affleck acting performance wow really? than this movie okay so let I, me ask I think you. it's his best work as better an actor better than Pearl Harbor <laughs> I didn't see yes. that one. better than Geely I didn't see Pearl Harbor oh him and Josh Hartnett crush it it looks so stupid that's another one I was like this this looks so it was just full wow. of Michael Bay shit you gotta see Pearl Harbor stop it <laughs> if I didn't like Dunkirk Man. there's no way I'm gonna his, like his Pearl Harbor. country boy accent. Woo. Oof. Oh. <laughs> oh, let me ask you this. Mm. Where does it rank in just Ben Affleck period movies he's made? Like, is Ar- is it better than Argo? Or is because I, I thought Argo was really fucking good. Yeah, I like Argo. I, I like Argo. I think I think as far as Ben Affleck movies, I think Goodwill Hunting is at the top. Right. I think that the town is really good. Right. Um, good and one. I think that it falls after that. I think wow. I like it better than Argo. I don't Damn. think Argo is that great, but I like it better than Argo. Wow. For sure. Okay. Argo was just really good at being tense, I yeah. thought. That was that one like really Argo was all for that scene at the, the end at the airport. The airport. Yeah. yeah, that was like, oh fuck. Yeah, yeah. Everything else was like, yeah, whatever. But that airport scene was really fucking good. Uh which that might be part of our top ten today. I don't know. Maybe somebody picked that scene, but Argo is a little more universal. By the way, Castlevania season three, holy fucking shit! Yeah, Cody, are you into any of this stuff? The Castlevania Netflix thing? I haven't seen it. No. Okay, you have you you don't. I'm telling you right now, you don't have to give two fucks about the video games. You really mm-hmm. don't. Are, do cartoons? Is that something stupid to you, or can you, or do you mind watching? No, I can. Stuff? I can get behind that. Okay, yeah. this Warren Ellis is such a great fucking writer. And it, this thing is as heavy metal as it gets. It is so fucking great. Do not let Colton watch this. <laughs> it is as R-rated as cartoons get, too. Uh, Was it, is it as R-rated as heavy metal? Yeah. Oh, like oh. On that level? Oh, there's fucking, there's, fucking? there's, there's. There's a hand drawn, hand drawn cocks, hand drawn oh, okay, tits. Okay. There, yeah, I'm it's all in. Yeah, they're um, Love but it is dudes. fucking gnarly as fu- Warren Ellis is such a great fucking writer. And are he, they half hour episodes? Or about a little bit less little usually. Less and the first two seasons, I think it's just like six and eight episodes. Are very short. This third one is ten, okay. and man, it is so fucking good. It is, and then, so it takes place. It's the backbone is Tr- Castlevania three. Which is the prequel game? That was okay. the first prequel game. I never so, played Castlevania. Too. So Castlevania, you're Simon Belmont in one and two, right? In yeah. Castlevania three, you're Trevor, who's his ancestor. Okay. And then you can also choose between Dracula's son Alucard and uh, Sophia, uh, or si- Sifa, Sifa, Sifa Belnades, who's like this kind of like a gypsy sorceress type yeah. chick, and then a pirate. Um, you can choose between one of those four players, or you alternate between them during the game. Okay. It's fucking great, and this this uh, animated show is that's kind of the launching okay. pad. Is that idea? Gotcha. And oh my fucking god! It I just finished season three. Is yeah, that all I, there is so far? So far, just three seasons. It's on Netflix. Castlevania. Okay. I, I'm telling you, dude. It is, guys. It's fucking tremendous. Okay. And okay. just Warren Ellis is so good. His he he's written every episode. I think the same guy directed every episode. So there's a there's a very real continuity to it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it's oh man, it's uh, it's fucking tremendous. Okay. It is, and th- it starts getting like the uh, like the voice of Trevor is that dude who is uh, the fucking main dwarf in the Hobbit movies. Richard Armitage, I think is his name, and he's fucking fantastic. Oh, yeah. And then the voice of Alucard. Is the guy who was Doctor Gaius in the yeah. Battlestar Galactica uh, reboot from ten or eleven years ago? Uh, Gaius, b- that back there. It, man, I'm telling you, dude, this show is fucking incredible. And then Bill Nighy plays a character in the third oh, season, like Bill Nighy. and it's it's fucking amazing. It's it's great. So I'm just telling you, okay, get on that good shit, Castlevania okay. on Netflix. I cannot okay. go on it. I'm gonna keep going on. Let's sing, huh? Do it. All right. So we're excited. We get to see this basketball. Oh, what hat Ooh, would they wear? Oh, oh, shit. Mm. Mm. Wow. Better than Hoosiers, Cody. Uh, 
That's that's a really that's a tough question. At least this has black players. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. It, I mean, the thing about Hoosiers... Well, Hoosiers worked for the time it was supposed to be in. I, yeah, it did. However... Hickory, Indiana, <laughs> probably didn't have a lot of black people in. No, but you put that team against any team... Destroy! <laughs> I mean, they get slaughtered. They never slaughtered. pick up another basketball. They get slaughtered. Yeah, they go to states, they lose first round, they're done. They're done. <laughs> That's not over. even close. It's over. Like, they, I went to a predominantly white high school. Yeah. We had two black kids on our basketball team. Right. Uh, one was very good. One was great. Yeah. Uh, he competed a lot. Uh, we were in the same division as Grant Hill. The same. Uh, wow. The same uh, high school. Yeah. Uh, division. And so he would play. He didn't play against him, but he, Grant Hill graduated, and then that's when we came in. So we, I would see games with Grant Hill in high school. I went to see Grant Hill in high school. Wow. Um, and this guy was on that level where Duke, Jesus Duke was looking Christ. at me end up going to American University. Wow. And he was great. And we wow. and we would go to states every single year. Of course, just riding this one dude. Crush. Because he was all you had. Because he was the one good player we had. Right. Yeah. That's... Everything else was just some like, you know, middle, upper, <laughs> upper middle class white guys. And we just got slaughtered every time we went to Richmond. Right. It <laughs> wasn't even close. That Hoosier team. Yes. Oh my God. That so is... we had the Hoosier team with like a great right. African American player. And that was it. And we couldn't get out of the first round of state. <laughs> so uh, there's no way Hoosiers ever happened. But <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's, just That's why I think I'm going to like this way back more because I'm like a little <laughs> bit more grounded in reality for me. You know what I mean? Like just a little bit more. Uh, what hat? So the, the Joker goes into the actors who have portrayed me. Hall of Fame. What actor is on his hat? We go to Charles Phillips. He says there's only one, and that's Mark Hamill. He's the best and the only one. Fuck Heath Ledger. He was overrated and only got the Oscar because he dies. I'm saying it. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, Charles. He is writing you singing that fight yeah, song. He is. <laughs> he is writing that high. Uh, and then we have a counter. Dave Strebeck, Heath Ledger. His work is masterpiece <laughs> level. Look at that. All right. Uh, Graham, our Graham. homie. Graham and Faye from Winnipeg. Love Graham and Faye. It is squash mark hamill wins this hands down he does portray the joker hamill is the clown prince of crime i still feel that the batman animated series is the best portrayal and performance of all the core characters of the bat family and the rogues gallery the cartoon owes all of uh, all the combined creative talents of bruce tim paul dini gene mccordy kevin conroy mark hamill arlene sorkin soundtrack at the entire art direction team etc etc et you know what graham and Faye? i have to agree with it's, everything they said there it was a perfect storm that, of all the right people i'm a yep. batman of i liked i grew up with batman 66 yeah so i enjoy watching that but to me yeah. When I think that my most enjoyable Batman moments come from that animated series. Agreed. Same I same here. Same here. The result is living is living comic on TV. So many memorable moments from the brilliance of the backstory of Victor Fries to the creation of Harley Quinn, but even with all the talent back uh, bundled up. Anytime Mark Hamill's on the screen as a Joker, you knew it was going to be a top-notch story. Uh, this is not to take away from any other portrayals, which all have their own unique flavor, but you have to pick Hamill's is the squash. Nitpickers know I'm guessing there'll be too, not too much love for Jared Leto's Joker, <laughs> but with that <laughs> gong show of a script and development hell, it would be interesting to see the rumored 40 minutes plus cut footage of his performance. As Joker. Well, yeah, because Jared Leto doesn't suck as an actor. No, so, he's got an Oscar. I mean, yeah, maybe. I mean, that doesn't mean you're a great actor. But no, uh, but still. you know. I, it, I think the problem was just like the take, like that take on the Joker was so terrible. Uh, was he, what was he, the, the, was he the, he was a gangster. Well, wasn't Jack Nicholson the gangster of Joker? He was then, a mobster. He was a mobster hitman. Yeah. Yeah, but then, but Jared Leto's, because they, they broke up like. Uh, he had a grill, right? Like Keith Ledger was <laughs> yeah. the, Keith Ledger was the anarchist Joker. Yes. And. Uh, so he was the psychopath, right? Or the, right. The, yeah. Heath Ledger, or Jared Leto was the psychopath Joker. Right? See, I never, like, I never like saw. Like face tattoos and stuff. Yeah, yeah. he was the psychopath. Jenkelson was the gangster. Uh, Ro uh, Cesar Romero was the clown. Right. And that's then Mark what, Hamill was all in one. Yeah. Right? That's because I saw something where they divvied him up into the different sort of personality types that each one was. Um, I go, uh, so we go to Colin Mags. He says, Hey, Jerry, Eddie, and Cody, glad you enjoyed my top 10 list. We'll send some more, uh, when I get a few good ones. <laughs> Hall of Fame live action Caesar Romero has it for me. It still makes me smile, but the person I feel who nailed it, the mania and the chilling, the chilling psychosis is Mark Hamill. A lot of votes for Hamill. Yeah. I think Hamill's going to run away my, with this that's from, my our, hat, uh, Mark Hamill. from our thing here. I mean, I want to pick Caesar Romero just because that's what I grew up with. Right. 
And every time, my first image of the Joker ever in my head is Cesar Romero's Joker. Oh, yeah. But Mark Hamill. Uh, Darren McGregor, best Joker. It was a tough one out of the four, so I'm going to cheat a little and have Nicholson walk in wearing a hat with Hamill's Joker on it. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, Darren. Good little work around there. Gary Priest, he says, uh, hey, Jerry, Eddie, and Cody, hope you all are well. My list below. For me, the Joker needs the three M's, madness, uh, menace, and mirth, and so it has to be Cesar Romero in the super campy Batman 66. He was actually scary, and that laugh was unhinged as fuck, and he was obviously loving every minute of it. Yes, Hamill came close for me, but it has to be Romero. One thing that, that I give Cesar Romero bonus points for is I think he was the craziest Joker. Really? Because, yes, because he painted over his mustache. Yes, he didn't shave his mustache. <laughs> so that, if you want to just take, like, what psycho just yeah. doesn't shave it? What psycho just paints over their mustache? Because he's got other shit to do when he's not dressed up like a clown. <laughs> That's and he doesn't kind of, want that affected. Right. That's interesting. So Damien Botrell, hey Ramblers, Damien for Australia here. Just looks like humanity. Just as it looks like humanity is doing okay from the outpouring of generosity and positive things to come from the bushfires, some people start coughing and suddenly we are in the apocalypse. Yeah. Stores are in crisis. The shortage of all things toilet paper. I see an opportunity here. Ramble toilet paper on tpublic.com. Why just fuck a pillow with you guys on it when you can? Well, you get the idea. <laughs> Dude, uh, I like this. Damien is killing this idea. Uh, I grew up with the animated series, so the Hall of Fame it has to be Mark Hamill. He becomes a Joker whenever he voiced a character and even got better at it with age when he did the Arkham games. Yes. I mean, that's not wrong, man. Um, well, shit. Uh, let's see. Do we have another one? Patrick Carruthers. Uh, just a hat this week. I go to Mark Hamill, his Joker is the most pure. Thanks for all the funny. Hope all the Ramblers are washing their hands and not getting the virus. Thank you, Patrick. And thank you, everybody, for uh, for chiming in. Yeah. And remember, ramble at ramblepod.com. Hit that too, Nanny. If you want, if you know what I just played. We're nothing without our Ramblers. We're nothing without you, Ramblers. Y'all are the best. And then next, Ramble, what hat? You ready for this one? Mm -hmm. You ready for this one? All right, here we go. Um I'm on a Castlevania kick. Okay. The Belmonts go into the video game character Hall of Fame. Which member real, of the Belmont family real niche here. is on their hat? <laughs> Which Belmont is on their hat? Uh, so that gives you and Cody extra incentive to watch some Castlevania yeah, I mean, on Netflix. I'll check, I'll check it out. Don't let Colton no. see it. I'm telling you. <laughs> now I have homework. Now you have homework. It ain't Willow, God damn it. <laughs> At least it's not Willow, Cody. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so who was on yours? You went Mark Hamill? I went Mark Hamill. Cody? I'm sorry, but I go Heath Ledger. I went Heath Ledger, too. And what? I, All right. I didn't even like that movie, but I'm telling you, every time he was on the screen, he was I was captivated. I agree. He was fascinating to watch. It was like, and it fucked him up so much, he died. So I got to give it <laughs> to know, him. I know, but I just... Hamill was great, but... Heath Ledger, I, okay, let me put it to you this way. If I'm in a room with any of the Jokers, I'm most scared of Heath Ledger's. If you put any yes. of the Jokers in, a, and I'm in a room yes. with them, that one terrifies me the most. Yeah, because, yeah. So that's how I looked at it. He's it, a more than, sociopath. More than, I, yes. more than any of them. It, more I, than, also don't think, I also don't think that there's any cheesy element to that performance or that character either. Like, it is straight up psychotic he was like, able to yeah he was able to nail it but still like but there and there was that mirth level too just because when when he walks in and julia roberts brothers like you think you could just walk in he's like uh yeah like well, he was that, yeah. he was still that funny the whole, like ooh. the whole line about a, a like the dog chasing the car like he wouldn't know yes. what to do if he caught up like, oh and, and, I, and, and in that moment too that i think you and i talked about this cody when he goes to two faces hospital room yeah. Mm -hmm. Harvey Dent, and without saying a word, just the, just that little hi. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. That was the oh man, like because he knows what Harvey Dent wants to do to him. He knows it's his fault, yeah. and the way he said, maybe it was Grady who was hitting me up about that. But the way he just looks at him and goes hi. <laughs> that was no, I, it, it's a ooh. I love that performance, and that's the only thing I like out of all Same three here. of those movies. Same here. The only thing, the only was redeemable Heath thing Ledger's out of all Joker. three of those movies is Absolutely. that performance. Absolutely. But it's just, it's just to me, it's just a crazy psychopath. He is. Not the he's, Joker. He's just a white trash Which weirdo. I get that, That's and I love watching that. But to me, right. it's not. The Joker is either Mark Hamill's Joker or Cesar Romero's Joker. Even 
even Jack Nicholson tapped into what I consider what the Joker, the Joker is. is. See, I thought Heath Ledger did at the end of the film, his last scene, where he's just dangling. And he tells Batman, I have a feeling you and I are going to be doing this for a long time. Yeah. I was like, that, that. There's moments of it, but it's just like, yeah, to me, it's, it is Mark Hamill's Joker. But I, I completely agree. I loved watching Heath Ledger's. I saw that movie twice in the theater. Just because of him. Because of I him. I didn't like the movie, and I saw it multiple times because, because of his of performance. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually bought that. That's the only one of the three movies I own. Own, yep. Just because of his per- it's because of fucking, that performance. It's so but great. It, Mark it's, Hamill's still the one I take. You still go Mark yeah. Hamill. I mean, it's not a bad problem to have. No. That they <laughs> no, they're both yeah. But. That's a uh, all right. Let's good one. We solved that. Solved it. Kind done. of done. <laughs> laid to rest now. <laughs> Next ramble. What Belmont? What member of the Belmont family would be on their hat? <laughs> Richter? Are you a Richter guy? Are you a Simon we'll guy? We'll find out next Are week. you a Trevor guy? I don't we'll know. see. I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's do some open closing and encore, right? Amy Winehouse, open Cody, can you do this one? And yeah, I think so. Oof. Oof. Wow. That was something else, buddy. Heath Ledger was incidentally my inspiration for that version of that. I could tell that there was a lot of Heath Ledger. <laughs> uh, Charles Phillips says she opens with Back to Black, closes with Fuck Me Pumps, encores with Valerie, why don't you come over? The Hall of Famer, first ballot, Dave Strebeck, the Devastator, says love is a losing game, rehab, encores with Back to Black. Have a great week, fellas. Best wishes always signed. Did we ever get a shirt size from Dave We Strebeck? did. Okay. I'll get that to you. We're going we're gonna to get that. You're getting your shirt, Dave. Very, very soon. <laughs> very fucking soon. Very fucking soon. Graham and Faye, rehab, Pharaoh Monk remix. They, she closes with Body and Soul with Tony Bennett. Encores, Back to Black. Sadly, Fade to Black. Yeah, that's. I forgot she's part of the Twenty Seven Club too. Yeah. Yep. McGregor says, "Mr. Magic, you know I'm no good." And then rehab because who doesn't love a bit of irony for the encore, mm. for Darren, um, Gary Priest. He says, "Valerie, back to black rehab." Not bad, not bad. Patrick Carruthers, PC, as you may know him. PC. Oh, he already did the. He only, he only just did Hamill. Yeah, that's he right. Did the Hamill DB Damian Botriel opens with Valerie, closes with Back to Black, encores with Rehab until Adele runs in, super kicks her through the barbershop window, and steals her <laughs> thunder. <laughs> no top ten this week. There's just too many movies. Not enough time to rank. Plus, plus, I trust ser- new series regular Cody to have some good ones if he's even oh, in this shit. one. Remember, guys, it's canon. <laughs> all of it. Cheers, it's Damian Botriel. Well, Hell yeah. I don't. This Cody's not aware of what he has to go through to be a full. Oh, Cody person. didn't hear. Should we tell him <laughs> the initiation? So, Cody, this oh, is like right. your fifth or sixth in a row. So you're basically you're in now, right? Yeah, yeah. But we would almost. There is an initiation. Problem. We have an issue. So there's a couple things. We have to beat the shit out of you, Eddie and I, and then whatever girl you have a crush on, Eddie and I have to fuck her, okay? <laughs> and right. then you have to kill her. So and then you're in. <laughs> and then you're in. And then you're in. And then you're in. No dues, <laughs> no nothing. Just that's you're it. Flat in. You're in. So uh, did Eddie have to do this to get in? <laughs> No, <laughs> no, it was, it, was a di- it was a different time. It was a different time. There was, I think the rules got a little bit strict. <laughs> they got very, hey, look, it's wait for the next club. one, right? Wait till the fourth member. Wait till we have. <laughs> wait till what we have to do to that person. I mean, I'll be like, <laughs> um, next ramble, ramble two twenty four. What would you ready for this yeah. one? Jonathan Bon Jovi. Let's just go. Bon, the band Bon Jovi. What would Bon Jovi open, close, and encore? Think you could do this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eddie, uh, Cody, could you do it's this? Blaze of Glory, yeah. open, close, and yeah, encore, yeah. right? Well, for me, it is. <laughs> he leaves the band behind, and it's, <laughs> wake up in the morning, and I raise my weary head. <laughs> right? What else could it be? I don't know where I'm going. Only God knows where I've been. That's the fucking greatest. <laughs> By the way, uh, thank you to everyone who subscribed to the Ramble, giving it a five-star rating and a positive text review. Please keep that coming. We have 103 still, which is great. That's amazing. But we want more. We do. Let's get some more uh, five stars. Let's get some more positive text reviews in. Just thought I'd throw that out there. And uh, here we go. I have Amy Winehouse opening with Rehab mm-hmm. right off the bat. Yeah. Right? She closes with Valerie. Mm-hmm. Encores with You Know I'm No Good. Nice. Cody, can you do this? We're very similar here. Ooh. Uh, opening with Rehab, closing with Valerie, 
Encoring with Back to Black. That's a great one. See, I have opening with Rehab as well. You try to make it both. Then I have closing with Love is a Losing Game. That's a great one. And then I have them encoring with Back to Black. That's great. There you go. Now, look at this. And then Ramble 224, Bon Jovi. That's going to be, huh? That's going to be a good one. Well, it's just going to be I'm reading amazing. books and playing video games. Bring, Bring your, your pussy, pussy over here. here. We're reading, We're reading books, books and playing games. Playing games. <laughs> I have to be honest. No, I, I can't talk over that. No, don't. What was I thinking? Jesus, what was I thinking talking over that harmonica solo? Um, I'm not reading anything right now because I've been I've been read I've been all in on this trying to edit retro Rocha shit. Yeah. So I just got done playing Strider for the NES. Remember yeah, that one? Yeah, yeah. So that's that's a, that's, wow, that, that's a way back. That's next Thursday's retro. Oh, that's, been, that's what I was playing. That's it. Nice. Cody, you reading anything? Uh, no, I'm not. Unfortunately. Have you no. reading or playing? No. So I Strider. Had I haven't had time to read it. Strider is it? That's all we have. I haven't fucking done shit, man. Eddie, come on, don't put it that way. You're you're a you're a valuable man. All right, stop done, this. I have done nothing. Don't to beat yourself myself. up like I've this. Done nothing to enrich myself. <laughs> nothing. I got I want to finish reading the Witcher books, and then I got. I to, have two uh, Star Wars books I've half read. Yeah. I have a Fallen Order. I have not finished. I try. Right. I haven't gotten into it. I've got, it, I've got it, me it. same here. I've been, the retro thing coupled with this is that's been all my gaming yeah. time, but it's gonna. I have a few bankrolled now, so I all think right. I'm gonna start. Okay. Jumping back in, nice. you know, we'll see what happens. All right. Cody, you been enjoying that Steam thing? I, I I did for a little while, and then I ran out of Steam, and then really? I stopped. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you're, you're steaming your vagina. What are you doing? Whoa, wait, steaming that wow. poon. Steam that poon. Steaming right? that poon. No. Um, <laughs> man, there we go. <laughs> what did they offer, Dak? Thirty-five mil, thirty-three. It's like thirty-three million. A year. I take thirty-three. Is he going to take it? Have you anyone heard? He should. He should. He damn that well. would put him like third. Yeah, yeah he should. He should. Why do. would you not take that contract? Here's the only reason I'm happy they're offering him this. I think that means they're not going to go after Brady. That's what makes yeah. me happy. You think they resign Cooper or no? I hope. I I a want a lot of money. It's a lot of money, but fuck and it. Dak, Aziz, I, and Cooper. Why not? Let's go for it. I mean, you're, you're going to have your best defensive players. I only have like one more year left on the rookie deal, like Vander. It's true, uh, Leighton so Vander Esch and all those and guys. Then another guy, the guy from Notre Dame. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I still. Your key defensive players got like another year left before they got to deal with that shit. Yep. I, I say, fuck it. All right. Fucking go under the, go over the cap. Who gives a shit? He can afford it. You can't go. It's not like the uh, NBA. The NBA where you play a luxury tax. I know. That'd be nice. That wouldn't be fair though. Jones would no, just because he'd do it every fucking year. He would do it every year. He'd have a four hundred million dollar payroll. Yeah. Oh God. He wouldn't give I mean, a the shit. The Yankees can do it. Why can't Why can't the Cowboys? Yeah. Right. He Fuck the Yankees. Shit. They could do it. exactly. Uh. <laughs> so would Dan Snyder. So can I wish you they hear were. us? Wow. Shout That's out true. Snyder you. would too. Fuck yeah. yeah. All right. Here we go. Shout out time. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right. Here it is. It's gonna be a long one. We have like eight more things to Dude, jump that's in on this. Awesome. The Eric Butts, John Fields Art, Beer the Reaper. <laughs> Beer the Reaper. Beer the Come Reaper. On. Kaiser Monroe, Alrim, followers of Shesmu, Scott Prince, Graham Edmondson, Leon Edelman, Rick Braun, Daniel 673, Reed Dixon, Retro Rocket Entertainment, Coppin with Comic, Elizabeth Flores, Jason Tully, The Real Zelly, Cool Gramps, XRP, Eddie Pants Fan Club, Captain Robin Dash Windsu, The Pirate Cats, Daryl Hefferman, Ramble Memes, David. Follow Ramble Memes. Ramble Memes. memes. It's follow Ramble funny. Memes on Instagram. I don't know who's doing it, but I know. Follow. Whoever Ramble Memes is on follow Ramble Memes They're on great. Instagram. David McGinn, Teresa 1025, Christopher Haskell, George Olivos, Jason Peak, Matt Control 77, Blinky Blink, Jamie Werner, get the unspecial on Netflix, the ultimate rabbit, uh, Davis, aka your grandma's pussy. Is is that still the greatest? AKA. Oh, uh, Day, I'm not sure if I know Davis. Oh, uh, your grandma's pussy. Yes, yeah, grandma's I know pussy, them. Of course. Davis, aka your grandma's pussy. <laughs> Alec Vasquez, <laughs> Colin Mack, CY400. <laughs> Play with the podcast. It's weird. Adam all grandmas have pussies. It is. That's weird. And they've all queefed at one point. And they've point all or taken another. it. They've all taken it. They've taken it. That's they've why they're grandmas. That's they why they're grandmas. grandmas they if those pussies be, hadn't taken it. If their pussies hadn't taken that it. That really fucking grosses me out. Isn't that weird to yeah, think about? To think about. Jesus All grandmas Christ. got pussies that got taken. My mom came from a family of seven, so my oh, grandma was that puss getting got it. worked over. Worked man. the fuck over. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're just saying it. It's like it is. just facts. You can look at her picture right now, Andrea. As I'm saying it's this, right there, and you can see how worn out she looks. You can see how worn out she is. From just taking it from taking it over <laughs> and over and over and over. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Adam Kraz, Darren Butler, Michael S. Miller, Jeff Watts, Kim Key, Taylor Johnston, Rich Morrissey, Nick May, Renzel Three, Night Moves Differently, Ken Rivera, Richard Miller, David uh, Garcia, Jose Gonzalez, Big Daddy Joe, 34, Bay TW Podcast, Ray Tolius, the winner of our Hit That Two Nanny, Kingsley 28, Eric Ben 10, The Real Danny Mary, Scarecrow, James Weaver, and Outlaw Torn, Nick Sharps, for Sean Near Ramiro, Kenny Todd 2015, Reverend and Daddy, Raul Sanchez, Vandeveer Von Huddleston, Michael B. Smith, Big Timmy 87, Gary Priest, Middle Age Crazy Podcast, Tammy Lee, Ramsdell, Frank Montez, SRW92831, Packs and Breaks, Lauren Silence, Neho Young, Coy Bennett James, Jeffrey, aka J Back 01, Gil Gaslam, The Thick White Dude, T Garrett Pearson, Senor Peligro, Podescue Podcast, Inner Zone Podcast, CJ Pendragon, Yorges 126, Tierlicious Cordelia, Lucas Guerra, J. AD, Red Five standing by, Rob Verney, Chris O'Shoke, Nathan Wallace, Shane Power, Michael Martinez, Wendy May, Steve Darcy, Gray Wraith, Sean Williams, Liam Harris, Ryan <laughs> McNabb. Oh, I mean, really, right? Grandma's probably got peed on, if you really think about it. Yeah. Brandon you think Feltner. They just came with our generation? No, no. They were fucking getting shit on and peed on. They were taking on. hot Cleveland steamers. Oh, fucking all way the time. before it was cool. Brandon Feltner. <laughs> Odd mode they were titty fucking and everything. Camp Sempers, Dave Van Walton, Chris McDermott, and Bella 66, Steve Wynn, 30, Percentage 68. of grandmas that got titty fucked. Chris Chuck Hughes, Dan, 92. I'm going to go. <laughs> Daniel Holland. percent Josh Kovac. That's a really high Brett rate. Hunter, J6, K9. I'm getting titty fucked. I'm, tell, I'm calling it right now. Graham Gray, Harnold, like Cathal McKellie. Like a full-on titty fuck. Full-on. Manny Oliver, 92%. Bradley, John Eagle, Feather. Not just a rub-up. No, full-on. Full on. Till... Five minutes. Till they took a shot in the chin. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling 92% you. 92 percent. Joseph Tez, go away. Seven two three. I'm a little Gonzalez. Unreal. Did you just tune us out now, hon? Steven, Nikki G two three. Two two. <laughs> Jay reading ten thirteen. Fred Johnson. Todd C. <laughs> DJ Re, A K. DJ Re, Todd Lord Helmet. And Good Phil Sergeant. Sean Williams. Mock Toy. Scarecrow. Two nineteen. A K. Adam K. Jimmy Salgado. All of his pod. Assorted Goods Pod. Juvenicio Estrada. Oscar Nunez. Joe Mofa Show. Sean Smith. Stacy Avilia. C. J. A K. M. Blade. Kyle Cook. A K. The Grandfather. Andy Hinsman. Gray Moore. Eric Nye. Justin Brown. Stacey Gonzalez. Jack Beams. Chris Fabo. Chris Wakaba. Chris Pell. Kevin Couch. Charlie Lantre. Charles Phillips. A K. Chaz Hates. Cody. Anything on what percentage of grandmothers got titty fucked? Do you want to you put think a it's number? 90- 91 percent. 91. He just prices righted you. He yeah. did. He <laughs> fucking did. Son of that a bitch. motherfucker. The game fanatics. Burt Martin, Gary Cundell, their mother. <laughs> Shelby Concert, <laughs> Plastic Prison, Kelly Riddle, KT, Chris Barnes, Meyer, AKA, o- AKA Go Cast, Chris B. Glamis, Jamie Storm, Raven, Yemen Yam, and Boss Hogs, Grim Shredder, Drunk Eddie Stotts, Eddie's Ghost Ham, Robin Maloney, Damian Botriel, Joe Milne, Ramar, Chad Julu, Sean Ryan, Lisa Marie Miller, Joey Poole, uh, Gemma from the Talking Cops Hall. Podcast Andy Barr, James, Dan Beavers, aka G Virus, Dan, Nath Kendall, aka The Joker, Austin Long, Adrian and Peña, aka Texas Pookie 71, Gamer Girl Deluxe, Singway Slave, Big Timmy 87, John Broccolo, Steve Colsanti, aka Midnight Smoke, Patrick A. Bon Frisco, Jason Shear, Matt the Rat, Mad Monkey, Seb Robledo, Evie Agus, Justin Schroeder, Jeremy Benvenu, Patrick Crothers, Tim Dawson, Brian Withers, Steve Rogers, Will Wilkins, John Mick II, Ian Goldsmink, Rico GZ, Irish 0, 1980, Bearded Nerd, Mike Driscoll 3D, Big Daddy Jimmy V, Ulysses Atkins, Sonic, aka Mercy, Dollum, Stets, the king of the barbecue sauce. McGregor, my legitimate Scottish cousin. The homeboy, the Hall of Famer, first ballot, the Devastator, Dave Strebeck, Joe Capone, Nico Brown, Stefan Vection, Poltron, Aaron, Bridget from Long Island, Adam Clambert, JM, J. Mitch, The Bird, Stapia, Nicola Wise, Rickleman, The Grady, Smithy the Third, The Chris and Cassie Effect, The Graham and Faye from Winnipeg, Sam Martinez, David S. Gutierrez, Derek, David Erky, Chavez, Chavez, Becky Sinderling, Bree Pena, and Brian Boo, <laughs> Stop Montez, Boo, Boo, Stop Montez, Boo. <laughs> Thank you all for making the ramble part of your lives, your loves, your everything. Please check out Eddie five days a week at uh, radio.com with hits, swings, and misses. Swings and misses. Patreon.com. The Ralph, Ralph Report. Report. Uh, you can hear me on the ramble and on our ramble yeah. radio. Please subscribe to that on YouTube, our, our rambled YouTube channel. And I have my own YouTube channel, Retro Rocha, where I uh, talk about old video games. So please subscribe to yes. that and watch that one every other Thursday. And you can catch me on the Smug Nerd with Eddie on every social media platform every Monday. Cody. Where can the fine folk find you, man? Uh, Cinesnob Cody on Twitter and the Cinesnob Podcast uh, on wherever you get podcasts. We're Hell yeah. back to doing weekly episodes. Oh, shit. On, Look at this. This ain't no schedule. joke. Uh, and also, uh, please, Eddie and I have albums on iTunes. Go buy them. Go give them five-star ratings, positive text reviews. We have, uh, we've each gotten one, so thank you for that for our new ones. I forgot who did it, but uh, please keep that coming. You hear us on Spotify, Sirius XM, Pandora. Crank that shit. Send pictures. All that fun shit. Yeah. And now, here we go. Oof. I'm excited for this one. This, talk about, talk about not easy, huh? 
No. I mean, right? Right. Talk about not easy. Let me get the music going. Hold on. I had to. Oops. There we go. All right. It's the time of the show where we rank the top ten. Man, does it? Do you? When you hear that, you yeah. playing the harmonica, do yeah. you even? Can you even believe it's you? You know what I mean? Or no, you? I, I do have like a sort of an out of body experience. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Where like I'm floating above this table right now. Right. Like, looking down on this. <laughs> oh, this this was a tough one. Top ten scenes. That you enjoyed yeah. from movies you didn't. That's that's a tough one. Next ramble, ramble two twenty four, X Men storylines. Think we can do this? Top, okay. Think we can do this, Cody? That's gonna be a challenge for you, buddy. Yes. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Don't fucking cop out. You're still on this. You're still being. You're, we're still gonna get you on the show. You're still part of it now because you have to kill whoever, whatever crush you have. You have to murder her. And I got to do my Bon Jovi list. So. Yeah, you can't fuck Ray. You can't miss out on that. Um, ah, this is tough. This is a tough one. Charles Phillips it goes, um, whoa, shit. Attack of the Clones, a Coliseum battle. Best part of that shit storm. Batman versus Superman, Wonder Woman shows up. You finally think the shit pile is going to turn around. Then it doesn't. Jason takes Manhattan. Jason punches a head off the dude. It's cheesy, but I love it. Deep Blue Sea, when Samuel L. Jackson gets eaten after the Save Today speech, oh, the ultimate all too. hope. That's on mine. <laughs> all hope is lost scene. <laughs> Reign of Fire, the dragons waking up and burning the mine and getting free. This movie was a mess, but those dragons look good. Uh, this one also made my list. Wolverine's origin. Wolverine and Sabretooth through the years. It was really cool watching Sabretooth and Wolverine grow up together and fight in all those wars. Spider-Man 3. Sandman coming to life. It looked too badass. RoboCop 2. The montage of the Kane prototypes. Favorite part. The one rips off the mask, shows the skull, and then screams. Rocky 5. The fight in the alley at the end with Tommy the Gun Morrison. Let's face it. Uh, boys, this was the lowest point in Rocky, but a good fight. Number one, White Chicks. Terry Crews singing Vanessa Carlton. The scene, I think, that gave birth to meme culture thank you charles phillips hell of a list yes. um this was tough so we didn't have that many you know chiming in but uh and and graham and Faye, they said best moments in movies you would have like changed so he says i'm pretty sure i may have misunderstood this one should, uh, should i read them anyway yeah, right why it, not peewee's big adventure after a brief yet disturbing ride to large march peewee quickly as at the trucks hopes to find another ride with his thumb fortunately not too long after a pale blue sedan approaches with the faint whisper of Credence's Midnight Special pulls over a man with a striking resemblance to Dan Aykroyd, offers him a lift. Seems a good omen. That would have been funny. Yeah. That Okay. Oh, God. That was a great. I know I've done this before. Have we done this top ten openings to a movie? What? Have we done that yet in the Ramble? I did it in old Ramble, pre, pre-Eddie pre Cody Ramble. But I don't know. Maybe we could abandon the X-Men one. for if we haven't. Let me look real quick. If we haven't done that yet. Top ten openings to a movie? Come that on, that would be that would be way easier for me to. <laughs> this is hard because oh, like, we've done I, it. I watch I watch like a hundred and fifty new movies a year, and the second a movie is not good to me, it leaves my brain forever. It's over. And so it's so right. Hard to, it's, so, it's so hard to do. Um, I we I, we've done it way back when. Should we do it again? Before you sure, though, it was before sure. Eddie. So let's do it. Fuck it. We're gonna re next ramble. We're gonna shelve X Men storylines. Top 10 openings to a movie. If you all remember what I did the last time, I'm going to try to make it different. Um, but, yeah, let's do that. Yeah? And uh, the title of the episode has to be something about your grandmother uh, getting peed on, right? <laughs> Don't you think? I think that's the title right there. Your grandmother getting peed on. No, the title of the episode is something about your grandmother getting peed on. 92% of grandmothers have been titty fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how that's not. 92 percent okay mothers have been titty fucked. okay let's do this if that grand... doesn't make you click on the link i don't know what, what will right god well, it was really an embarrassment of riches for what different things your grandmother <laughs> has done that we could name this um but we'll do <laughs> okay so um not too many so all right we'll do next ramble you know forget the x-men storylines do that the, the one after 224 top 10 movie openings we're gonna go back Back in the Wayback Machine and revisit a classic top 10 
that we're but so anyway number seven scanners daryl Revok, michael ironside spencer majority of the movie are exploding heads is the most powerful of all scanners but dr ruth manages to find a scanner that Revok has not found yet wide angle shot pans the surface of mars with Revok stepping out of landing shuttle the hunt on underground the hunt on the underground's rebel kuato begins ah et grown-up elliot is delighted with the turn of his alien friend spent some quality time on the couch as fate would have it xfinity is currently showing independence day on the movie channel the extraterrestrials watch in horror then realize that humanity is a legitimate threat earth is cleansed of his hairless apes before Jeff Goldblum and Will Smith can upload any viruses to their species. Alien, to the horror of the Nostromo's crew, the Xenomorph bur- bursts out of Kane's chest at the dinner table, and it's actually the version from Spaceballs. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime gal. It's a wonderful life. George and Mary's touching moment when he tries to lasso the moon. Cut to, man- cut to Iron Man versus Thanos on Titan, where suddenly a good chunk of the lunar surface rains Armageddon down on planet Earth, just in time to hear the damn bell ring. Next is for Darth Cody, who likes his films on the dark side. Inception, the final scene, Cobb's spinning web wobbles, the imposing and ambiguity of the scene begins to fade until we see his final layer as he peers through a slotted door to see Guido Roberto Benini doing his silly walk as he's forcibly marched out of frame by the Nazis. Wink, wink, indeed. Gunfire can be heard shortly after. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Sarah Connor has bested the T-1000 and the T-800s. Knows there's only one way to close the time loop and save John Connor and humanity. He must destroy the last remnant of Skynet. It's lowered into the steel mill furnace and melts away the last CPU. What follows is the events of maximum overdrive when all the steel from Skynet's remains are manufactured into re-killer to killer toasters Robo kill all humans. <laughs> Hilarity ensues. And finally, Star Wars. C- uh, C-3PR to D2 are in the hangar by control him as the stormtroopers blast away in. One of the troopers brains himself on the door, concussed and suffering short-term memory loss. The, the Empire uh, OS department medically discharges the trooper from active duty, sends him home. 501st uh, has a great uniform. The scene then cuts to a confused trooper, now civilian, Leonard Shelby, Guy Pierce, staring into a lost mirror, unrecognizable self, full of tattoos, and only his memento Polaroid in hand. I like it. Uh, that would I, I would I would love all those changes to those <laughs> movies. Uh, I tried to figure out a mandolin video game segment. I could not place a tune in any recognizable bit of my nerd brain. I'm knowing to be kicking myself when you tell us <laughs> Ray Tolius got it. Ramble off Graham Graham and Faye in Winnipeg. Out on the pillow. Hey, you missed out on the pillow. The Wind Temple scene. Chrono Trigger. Um, but I think look, everyone's gonna get the next one. Everyone's gonna get that shit. I'm telling you, everyone. Colin Maggs, Wonder Woman's appearance in, uh, oh, video games. Just got to say, I was a big fan of Buster Douglas Boxing and Genesis. In fact, it was the first game I played when, uh, played on a Genesis and made me fall in love with the console. That and the Madden games were the games my friends and I would have tournaments on. Good times. Uh, his top ten good moments and bad movies. Wonder Woman's appearance in Batman vs. Superman. Matt Damon singing the Scotty Doesn't Know song in Eurotrip. It's worth it watching the first 20-minute film just for it. The songs the cop sings as he's driving around with his cat Clovis and Stephen King's Sleepwalkers. Quicksilver rescuing the kids in X-Men Apocalypse. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. Line from the room. <laughs> the SAS rescue scene from the British comedy called Whoops Apocalypse. You can find it, watch it. And Rick Mail is best totally absurd and hilarious. Duel of the Fates, Phantom Menace. Opening montage following Wolverine through history. X-Men uh, Origins Wolverine. Tim Curry's Pennywise It in the TV movie. The A uh, High Mark rooftop scene from the room. Batshit crazy. Gotta love Tommy Wiseau. I could have done a list just from the room. From the Rambler who's tough enough, Colin Maggs. P.S. You guys could get a tough enough vanity plate made it used as a forfeit for a monthly challenge that the loser has to display till the next <laughs> challenge. I don't hate that idea at all, Colin. Thank you. Darren McGregor. Movie 43, the scenes of Lee Shriver giving his kid the high school experience and the consequential outcome. The Sixth Sense, when the kid says, follow me, then he turns the back of his head and it's been blown out. The Joker, when the credits roll. Showgirl, <laughs> Glenn Plummer's line, I got towels, after he's denied sex from Elizabeth Berkeley because she's on her period. Wolverine Origins via Deadpool 2, when Deadpool shoots Deadpool. Highlander 2, the subway scene with Ironside. Batman and Robin, briefly, when the studded nipples on the suits were revealed, but then it didn't take a turn I was hoping for. Noah, when Crow and Winstone face off for the first time. The Phantom Menace, Battle with Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, and Darth Maul. And number one, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Feeding Blood to Grandpa with Sally's Cut Finger. Have a great week, gentlemen. All the best. My legitimate Scottish cousin, Darren McGregor. Uh, let's see. The Gary Priest? Yes. Order 66 scenes from Revenge of the Sith when it came to dialogue and the direction of the actors. Lucas was never great, but the purely visual scene of this betrayal really stood out for me. Godfather 3, the just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in scene. All Michael wants is a quiet life, and yet he cannot escape his past. I, my honorable mention was the helicopter scene from Godfather 3. 
No, Remember that yeah. when the helicopter just kills all those dudes? That was a great yeah. fuck. Because you're like, was that an earthquake? What the fuck's going on? Number eight, Wonder Woman's first costume appearance: Batman versus Superman. She kicked arse, and thank fuck her mother wasn't called Martha. Number seven, the T Rex shows up in Jurassic World. I mean, that movie sucked, but that moment took me back to the brilliance of the original. The Darth Maul fight in Phantom Menace. Apart from the end, this is right up there with the best lightsaber fights, lightsaber fights in the franchise. A perfect, a perfect encapsulation of Jedi patience and calm against Sith brashness of Force. You Klingon bastard! You killed my son. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I actually like Search for Spock, but coming in between the two best films, it looks pretty weak. But that moment when Kirk collapses into a muttering wreck and then goes completely badass and blows up his own ship is pretty epic. That one Nicolas Cage scene in every awful, awful Nicolas Cage movie. He's so many. He's made so many bad movies now, but I still watch every one because there will always be a perfect Nick Cage moment that somehow makes it all worthwhile. The Darth Plagueis story in Return of the Sith, as long as you ignore uh, HC's somewhat wooden reactions, this is a great scene. And the last, not from a Jedi line, is a killer. Ripley's haircut in Alien 3. Kirk's... Oh! Oh, my God! Gary Priest brings the heat. What? I can't believe I didn't think of this. Captain Kirk's I Need My Pain speech in Star Trek V. Yes, I actually quite like this movie, too. But with all the cool elements, God, Spock's brother, Campfire Songs, Mind Control, it should have been the best of the series. And the I... anti-Scientology message. Yeah. I blame Shatner, the director. If Nimoy had directed this, it may have been the pinnacle of the series. Damn, I love these lists. I also need a smug TV nerd show, a smug, TV, a smug nerd TV show or film ASAP. <laughs> Gary, thank you, Gary. We should make a quick, like, a smug nerd short film. What do you think, Eddie? I think we should. I think we should try. We should figure this out. Damien Botriel, no top 10 this week. There's just too many movies, not enough time to rank. Uh, and he knows Cody is going to bring it. I read that one, I think. Holy heck, that was it. it? That was a list. Thank That's you, everybody. That was a tough one. Thank you, everyone. No, no one nailed my trifecta. No, I don't think anybody's going to nail mine. I got a lot of people. A lot of people got my number one. Okay. Yeah, I, if, if it's, yeah, probably. That's. Um, but I'm like Cody. Like, if it's a bad movie, I kind of tend to forget same here. most of it. Yeah, it's just so tough. It's hard to. Cody, do you have anything? You think you have enough? Can you do this? No, I've been thinking about it this whole time, and I, it's just so difficult for me. All to, right, so it, how about this? Do. You can comment on ours. What do you think? Feel free yeah, to jump I, I in. My number yeah. 10, I'm with the, the, the one, the sixth sense. That was the only scene I loved in that movie, where really? that little kid's like, follow me, and he turns around, oh, and the oh, back yeah. of his head's blown. I was like, oh, God. That was pretty rough. I had, uh, my number ten is Sam Jackson in Deep Blue Sea. That's my number nine. That was that was such a great surprise. Yeah. I think he it was like almost made me like the whole movie. It did. It was like he's he was the most famous actor yeah. in it by a, by a mile, and the fact that they killed him off so that quick. quickly and so that, quick and so jarring and so funny yeah. too. That was oh man, that was great. Um, what was your number nine? Uh, when Superman three, when the lady turns into a robot, that still scares me. Still fucks with me. That day. scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. When her I eyes sh- turned into metal balls. Oh, I was fuck! Like, they gave me nightmares. That was so scary. My number eight, The Phantom Menace to Duel of the Fates, mm-hmm. Darth Maul versus Qui Gon and Obi Wan. I have another. My number eight is another one from Superman three, when bad Superman fought good Superman in the junkyard. So great. Puts the tires over. And when you see drunk <laughs> Superman just flicking peanuts at the bar, breaking everything. Being a, oh, so like great. That whole time, like that's such an interesting story. I wish they'd followed. I know it was. You know, Chris Reeve loved it too. It was it's like, so oh, good. I get to be an asshole for a little bit. See oh, a dark Superman that and then was, battle himself. That was great. Um. Still, though, not a good movie. That's a bummer. No, but like, That's had it gone down that path instead of might have been great. Richard Pryor and stealing pennies on the yeah. dollar, and then the, yeah. a big giant robot machine, the, a living bad. computer. It was like, what are that you was doing? Bad. A, uh, my number seven, Wolverine Origins, uh, X Men Origins, Wolverine. When him and Sabretooth, the opening credits. Oh, yeah. That should have been the movie. Yeah, I know. The opening credits of him and Sabretooth just fighting through every war since yeah. like the 1700s. Yeah. That should have been the fucking movie. Right. But they, they fuck it up. They fuck it up. Fuck it, it, up. it goes downhill so quick yeah. after that. But that was what was your number seven? Mine is also from Wolverine. That move Origins. Yeah. But it's it's the the when they inject him with the stuff and turn him into turn him into. Yeah, it was great. That was good. That was a good team. Definitely. My number six. I think this will make nobody's list. <laughs> this my, okay, Cody. I want your take on this. Is am I listing the worst movie on here so far? You ready? Mm-hmm. Now you remember how bad X Men Origins Wolverine was, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, Aliens versus Predator. <laughs> what did you oh, wow. like out of that movie? The Lance Henriksen cameo is as the as the head of the corporation, so you know that's where they got the model for Bishop. That was it. Oh wow! The Lance Henriksen cameo from Aliens. Wow. I that got a pop for me when he po- walked up. Wow! I was like, hey, 
right. I, I thought, totally forgot that was in that movie. I thought the movie's going to be saved. I thought maybe, and then no, it wasn't. Wow. Terrible film. But I really like that scene. Where are we at? You're number six. Number six. Uh, Joe versus Volcano. Oh. When he's dancing. That was a good scene. Bom, bom, yeah, bom, that was bom, a good bom. scene. Do, be, do, be, do. My number five, the reason it's this high is because had it was right off the bat, and Andre and I were like, holy shit, this is going to be fucking great, and it was in Hereditary. After the grandmother dies, and they come home, and Tony Collette sees her, you see her fucking ghost standing in the corner of a room, I was like, oh shit, here we go, and I thought the movie was garbage after that, but that was so fucking chilling. <laughs> And so, oh, because I think all of us have had that moment where you turn on a light and you think you see something in the corner of a room yeah. that's not there. And that was so creepy, the way they did that. And then they just fucking plummeted after that. But that's my number five. My number five. Uh, every uh, Heath Ledger scene from the Batman movie. Yeah, from Dark Knight. If you just take every scene out of that movie. Great movie. It's a great movie. Uh, all the other shit. My number four. I, this might give Aliens vs. Predator a run for its money. The Doom movie with The Rock. <laughs> oh boy. What did you like out of that? Movie? That one scene where they did the homage to the video game and everything was a first person as he's that going was, down the yeah, corner. Yeah, you knew that was coming. I, it was still good. I still that liked it. That was the it. whole point the movie was made. I still liked it. The, whole, the rest of it was garbage. Oh. I love that scene. You're such a mark on that. One. I was such a mark. I was uh, if if he picked up the gun and they did the, the like the most famous video game mod of all time. Yeah. If he did the Bruce Campbell groovy, I would have been like, okay, I like it even more. Where are we at now? Number four. Number four. Uh, the Independence Day president speech. We this one. Uh, <laughs> we this will not go quietly into the night. night. <laughs> we declare. <laughs> That gave me chills, man. It did. Hey, Twitter. man. Fuck yeah. I didn't like the movie, but fuck that, that yeah. speech stuck with me. Oh, I, that still that reminds me of like the, finest. that awful. Do you remember the awful speech from Idris Elba in Pacific Rim? Oh, where yeah. The, uh, canceling the apocalypse oh, speech. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> That's why Vigil Mortensen gets so much credit for really delivering in Return of the King. Yeah. It will not be yeah. this day. It's, it's like, hard to do those speeches. You are. I don't know why every fucking pro team doesn't play that speech yeah. before every game. Like that they was do the like, fucking Gibson Braveheart shit. Right. I was so riled up watching yeah. that scene, man. It was fucking. Yeah. Oh god. It would only. It, oh, the only thing would have made it better is if after V. Joe Morton said it will not be this day, yeah. and then he went two dogs in the back, and then all the guys go woo 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 two dogs in the house woo woo woo. That was the only thing that would have made it better. <laughs> Where my dogs at who who where my dogs at he did that that oh, would have been funny. a thousand times better but still great uh my number three okay is this the worst movie on the list uh, you fucking already said doom batman forever um i actually didn't i didn't hate i didn't that hate movie. it either I didn't hate that jim movie. carrey saves it yes but i thought and val Kilmer's not a bad Batman. he's a great batman it was just a bad movie not yeah. a good movie but that final shot might be one of the best shots in a comic book movie ever. Shot? With him and Robin just running behind the, sp the, the spotlights behind them, that bat symbols behind yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. The shot ends with them just like sprinting towards saving the day in yeah, Gotham. Yeah. Fucking, that was one of the best comic book shots yeah. in any movie. And then they just have to just fucking add Batgirl and, and Batman I and know. Robin to that. It's like, that was so stupid. What, Bambi's going to join? Hey, my parents were killed too. Like, it was so fucking. But anyway. That that was my number three. Uh, mine is in uh, this was mentioned before the when Wonder Woman enters into the Batman vs Superman scene because you think oh here it comes yeah mine uh, my number two I mentioned this to death Transformers Starscream just taking out all that was everything I was wanting yeah. from a Transformers movie they they did it in that one scene yeah the rest of the movie was so dumb it was just I I was still kind of enjoying it because I was marking out on yeah, seeing. Yeah. But the one scene that I thought was actually that was fucking awesome yeah. was Starscream, just transforming in and out, destroying all the other. My number two jets. is also from Transformers. Oh! But it's when uh, Jazz gets ripped in two. Oh, you want a piece of me? I'll take just two. Fucking Boom. yeah, that was fucking. That was that. That was pretty with dope. Yeah, I was so bummed. I was like, they can't kill Jazz. That fucking wiped him out, and then Prime shows no fuck. He's like holding him in two pieces. Yeah, and he's like. Well, we lost some friends today. Time to fight. Like, didn't time, even give a fuck. Didn't give a fuck about jazz. Didn't give a fuck. There's something else there. Jazz yeah. banged his girlfriend, yeah, I think. Uh, jazz my, put his muffler in somebody's <laughs> fucking... My number one, what else could it be? 
Not from a Jedi. Not from a Jedi. That fucking opera house scene that supposedly Francis Ford Coppola directed, yeah. which makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Highlight of the prequels. Highlight of the prequels. That's my number one. Yeah. My number one is the Duel of the Fates from Da da ba ba ba. Still, to me, the best Probably, lightsaber fight? The best, the second, one or two bet lightsaber fights of all. Tremendous. Time. What a top 10. Cody, do you agree with these? Could you, you, you like these? Would you find anything redeemable in our picks? <laughs> they were definitely movies I didn't like. <laughs> 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 were, there, were you with us on any of those? You're like, yeah, I could have given you that. That was a good well, scene. Well, I mean,. I mean, I was with you on Hereditary, but I like that movie. So, I'm... oh fuck, that was stupid. Come on, we're yeah. she... we're su- we're supposed to be afraid of some fucking special needs kid who just clicks. I don't I think so I, mad. I don't know. Those types of movies aren't super like they're more unsettling than right. super. Scary. How was I? Never saw Midsummer. Was that good? I that I did not like. I thought it was kind of excruciating to watch. Wow. All right. I like. Yeah. I think Hereditary is way better, way better as far as that goes. Um, what? Do, I, I, come on. The, the Batman Forever, that was a great final shot. But uh, these are all bad movies. God, yeah. the more I think. But, but next week, I've already got my I've already got five for next week while you guys are Oh that, so. shit. <laughs> but Wolver Origins, X-Men Origins Wolverine, that was something that I think that's the biggest what if. What if that movie had just had been, been that, that opening scene? Watching them go through time battles. That would have been so much better. Telling their story as brothers all the way through time. All the way, and then and then then you have the fall. Oh fuck, that would have been. Anyway, well, there we go. What a ramble. Thank you for listening. We want to thank you for letting us be ourselves. Remember, next ramble, 224, top 10 movie openings. What would Bon Jovi open, close, and encore with? The Belmonts go into the Video Game Character Hall of Fame. Which Belmont is on their hat? Ramble at theramblepod.com. Follow us on Twitter at PodcastRamble1. Instagram at PodcastRamble. Go to our Tee Public store. Get the pillows. Get the shirts. Somebody a pillow. Show us the pictures. Tolia, send us your address. Uh, Ramble at theramblepod.com. And then if you knew what song should I play it again? If you knew what song I played, or hit that time? tune, Annie. Should I hit that tune? Hit that tune, Annie. Right, here One more time. One more time. Hit that tune, Annie. Hit that tune Annie. You guessed that. Ramble at the ramblepod.com. Hit that tune, Annie. You tell me what game and what song that is from the game. Yes. You, we're going to put you in a raffle. could win the opportunity. To buy all three of us something <laughs> fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> How great is that? All right. Uh, we love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to hit the music. Uh, Cody, already. we already told everybody where you can find us. See you next. Yep. See you Friday. Ramble Radio, even though it's video, but it's radio. And then we'll see you next Wednesday for another ramble. We're playing the music. Music. That's it. Eddie and I have a have a a basketball movie to go we do. watch. We have a, a mandate to get a mandate. A big and I, vouch, I vouch for the movie. We and can order our snacks now. What we can order, Cody? Do you know we can order our snacks now from AMC.com? Maybe I should oh, do that. Should you? Should we, we go crazy? Up, so Just like G, line. like gentlemen, like fucking G's, like G, uh, like gangsters. G's. This this ramble might post like half an hour later than it should come out because I'm not gonna have time to post this right now. No. We're gonna go to the movie. Well, they have to suck it up. They have to wait. It's so the, wait. Yeah, this Jesus. one. That's that's yeah. God. We are people, man. Toying with our ramblers here, just toying with emotions left and right. I'm going through the snack list right now. What I'm gonna. What are you? Gonna- <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go Pop drop a Borg and then we're Oh, gone. yeah, you got to Borg it up. I got to Borg it up. All right, we love you guys. Bye.